Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the Artie Lang Show. I'm John Ritchie. And uh, Artie, not present presently, we have a special treat tonight uh, as the Canavans join me here. Hello. Uh, yeah, Liz and Marie <laughs> will be asking for relationship <laughs> advice from our special guest tonight. We have a special guest, Hall of Famer, relationship expert, Dan Deerdorf. We will be asking him questions <laughs> In a little something we call Dan Deerdorf Abbey. Fuck Welcome, you. Dan. Yay. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Deerdorf. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. It was just absolutely wonderful. Uh, uh, great open. Great, great oh, enthusiasm. Yes. Send, <laughs> send that open right over to the Museum of Broadcasting right now. Yeah. Let's get this off the hair. The little, the hair's a little sensitive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, uh, John, thanks so much for that gushing, mm. just absolutely wonderful. And girls, your enthusiasm is absolutely second to none. Thank I you know. so much. Thank you. I know you're a little upset about some of the stuff you're going to be asking about. <laughs> uh, you have boyfriends. I understand one yeah. of your boyfriends wears a monocle, so uh, <laughs> one of your questions will be, what, uh, how, how do you date a homosexual? Uh, and oh. listen, you don't ask Dan Deardorff about that. There's no no homosexuals in Dan Deardorff's family. Absolutely <laughs> not. No way. Not tolerated. And it wasn't tolerated in the 68 Cardinal either. That's for damn sure. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, Girls, um, do you have your questions prepared? Yes, we do. Uh, now, these are personal questions or from other people? Some are personal, some are from other people. Are you uh, going to say which is which? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, you're going to say which is which? Yeah, I'll That's start. You've really prepared for this. <laughs> you have yeah. to, by the way, 2.6 grade point average oh, at Kentucky, stop. both of them. Can I just please ask my question? This is important. I need to... Uh, sorry to, sorry to uh, interrupt your, <laughs> your concentration, Liv. Go ahead. Okay. So, dear Deardorf, about... Abby. A, Abby. Dear Deardorf, Abby. Dear Deardorf, Abby. Get with it, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you could just say dear Dorf, Abby. Okay. Yeah, dear Dorf, Abby. Dear Dorf, Abby. Have you been living under a rock for 30 years, sweetie? I, yeah, I've never... Yes, advice yes. from you. Yeah, but you know who Dear Abby is, right? Yeah. This is Deardorf Abby. Okay. <laughs> okay. So about a year ago, I moved to New York City, and I had a boyfriend at the time, and he did not want me to move to New York. And so during my the first two weeks in New York, it was his birthday, and we've been together for about three years, and I always remembered his birthday. But, of course, I've been so busy in New York, I forgot his birthday. So I decide mm. the next day to send him a fern. Uh, so, excuse me? Yes. A fern. What's a fern? A fern. It's a plant. He really What's likes a fern? Plants. Big green plant. Big green a plant. A fern is a plant of yes, some sort? a plant. You sent a you boy a, a fern? Yes, I thought he liked plants. Let me, let me just repeat this so uh, the Deardorff Fabi audience understands yes. this. You moved to New York City. Yes. Uh, you know, first of all, a real bitch move as far as I'm concerned. No, it's not. You just don't ask, per you don't ask permission. These upstart <laughs> career women, they're like, I'm going to New York I know, City. With all the swanky danks, blah, blah, blah. You get here, he's yes. upset, and on his birthday, in a real condescending move, you send him a fern, which is apparently a plant. I've never heard of a fern. I, he likes plants. I don't know. I've never I heard of a fern. Online. And you know what else? I've never made out with a dude, either. <laughs> so go ahead. You send him a fern. How do you react to that? Well, then I got a video of him burning the fern about like, two hours later. I know. Do you think I should still date him? To fern, it was lit on fire. He burned the fern. Burned the fern. First of all, I'd like to meet this kid. I like to go drinking with him. He sounds like a scream. He's a well, what else does a man's man do but burn a fern? I don't know. What do you want him to do? I, I don't what do know. you, you think? Let me ask you this, Liv, and yes. I don't mean to sound <laughs> condescending. But sometimes Deardorff Abbey gets, uh, you know, I get I get a lot of crap for being a bit abrasive, yes. especially when a broad <laughs> sounds stupid as hell. <laughs> I'm not saying that to you, but sometimes broads right, sound like right. a rock. <laughs> what did you think he was going to do with the fern? Best case scenario. Oh, put it on his porch. Best case scenario. Put it on his What's porch. he doing with the fern? Put it on his porch and you look at it every day. And you're like, <laughs> Let's put it on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look, the broad who moved to New York City without my permission sent me a fern. Let's put it on the porch. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. One problem we don't have a porch. <laughs> Did he have a porch, Liz? He did have a porch. Mm. He did. Oh. It sounds like your porch light is out. I know. I, that doesn't look too good. How much did the fern cost you, sweetie? 
I think it was about fifty dollars. Good move, Einstein. Jeez. I know, I know. <laughs> it I cost know. you fifty dollars. Yes, fifty dollars. A fifty dollar fern. He burned the fern. Burned Literally, the like thing. taking a fifty dollar bill and burning it. Yes, that's exactly what he did. Did he give you a note with it or anything? Nope, nothing. Just nothing. sent the video. He hasn't spoken since. You haven't spoken nope, since. Have not spoken since. I right, well, listen. Uh, here's a surprise. We have him right here. Come on out. <laughs> Just <Come kidding>. on. <laughs> What's his horrible. first name? Can you give us his first name? Jeremy. Jeremy spoken. <laughs> Jeremy. Is he the kid from that Pearl Jam song? No, I don't think sounds so. Sounds like it. Sounds like a troubled kid Not from a that I know. Pearl Jam song. Yeah. Sounds like a kid who needs a shrink. I know, lots of trouble there. Or the funniest kid alive. The kid burned the fern. <laughs> I, <didn't know. laughs> I tell you, I gotta call some of my old teammates and tell them that. I gotta call them right now. I gotta listen. It's broad I work with sent the fern to a dude. I know, it's a good story. Jared <laughs> Orff Abbey. <laughs> Oh. Well, listen, I, yes. do, do you feel, uh, how long did it take for you to get over that? It took me a long time. It's going to take me a while. It took me a, a year. I'm going to pull a kidney laughing at that in the shower. <laughs> what did he burn it with? How did he do it? Did he lighter put lighter fluid, fluid on yeah, it? Yeah, lighter fluid. Went up yeah. in, like, flames. Big. Really? Yes. Was, was he with other people when he did it? Was like, a gang thing? No, I mean, I don't know who he's with. Someone had to videotape it, so. He poured Somebody, the gasoline well, on it. Well, someone went, videotaped it. Yeah, well, but he could have put it on a tripod. Yeah, Listen, but I'm no cinematographer. To... Yeah, you're right, though. I don't know. Maybe he was by himself. I'm not sure. We haven't spoken. I don't know. Listen, well, you've really thought this out. My I know. God. Did you consider sending him like a rhododendron or something? No, I mean, after what that, are you gonna so send your what are you gonna send your next boyfriend a tulip? Right? No, I'll never make that mistake. Let me yet. let me let me explain something to you. Only broads like flowers and plants. I know. I you know that now. What, you know what you should have sent them? What? Fifty dollars. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. Probably. That's what we like. Send them half a sheet. Send them the fifty bucks. You took per you took a perfectly good fifty dollar bill and turned it into a fern. You're right. You're right. Where'd you get the fern? Online. Let's give him a plug. Online somewhere. I don't you remember. You bought a fern online. Yes. Very last minute. Put a lot of thought into this. I know. Last minute. You don't even go out and buy the damn thing. I know. Mm. No, that's disgusting. John, your thoughts on this? John Ritchie, my partner. <laughs> You know, I, I absolutely agree with you on this one, Dan, and I'm surprised because normally uh, you do not give good advice. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, John, uh, for your honesty here. I happen to disagree with what you just said, but you're being honest about this particular advice. I'm yeah, that, that is incredible. A, a firm, you think I'm on the money? Yeah. I, I, absolutely, absolutely. And yeah. you couldn't have liked him that much if you sent a fern in the first place. Yeah, so. that's what I... That I really Let computer. me say something. John is Always right. You were passive-aggressive. You I were passive-aggressive. Right. You said, I hate this guy. <laughs> I'm going to send him a fern. Who sends someone they like right. a fern? I know. You're probably right. I don't even like Here's him. a fern. I hate your guts. That's what you're saying. Here's yeah. a fern. Die. <laughs> Sending someone a fern is like saying, look, I want you to pass away. Oh, God. I want you to pass away. And he said, I'm not going to pass away. I'm going to burn the fern. Yep, he got back at me. He did. He did. But you seem happy now. Yes. I happen to know you're a sweetheart. You're a doll. Oh, thank you. And uh, you've, you've bounced back brilliantly. Thank you. you do, like you're great so. at your job. I'm not sure exactly what it is that you do here. Uh, <laughs> thank you, though. But uh, every I once in a so. while, you pour me a soda. Fantastic. I do that well. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, listen, do you have the videotape still of the fern? No, I'd like and to, I tried to I'd like to put it. that on a loop. <laughs> I'd like I to have that video. Have you know how Michael Jackson had all of Elizabeth Taylor's films on a loop? Yeah, I'd like to have the loop. fern burning on a loop. I don't have it. I can't find it. I wish I did. What, Mine well, you know where it is. No, no, no. It was on YouTube. It's not on there anymore. Is it right next to your graduation from Kentucky with the two six? <laughs> no. Everything you're proud of? No, no. By the way, these two uh, graduates of Spotlighter's acting camp outside True that. of Chicago. True that. True that. All right, well, thank you, Liz, for being so honest and so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Deardorff Abbey has another uh, Marie. This, now, this is, is real life. This is Marie. This is the real life thing? Yes. Oh, this is the juicy one here. Deardorff Abbey. Let's sink our teeth into this one. Deardorff Abbey. So I drove from Chicago to Georgia 15 mm. hours with my little sister, my dog, and my twin to visit my boyfriend. Right. When I got there, he was on another date. And he apologized. Should I still date him? I think you should send him a plant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what do you mean he was another date? He, was he, he lied. And when I got there, he said, hey, surprise. I surprised him. And he said, oh, I can't hang out. I'm actually going on a date. He was, having, was he having sexual intercourse with the date? He's a slut, probably. 
Well, I don't, I don't think you should date him at all. I think clearly I know. he's probably got some sort of an aerial disease or something. <laughs> he he's might. In Georgia. Bang. Now, <laughs> what, where does he go to get laid in Georgia? Like a Klan meeting or something? Where do you go no. there? No, probably a honky tonk or something. Listen, I've been to Klan meetings in Georgia, and I'm like, who do I got to <laughs> F to hold a pure white baby? Where do I got to go to do that? The old days, it just, I, uh, I don't want to get on a tangent here. But a da the dating scene at the Klan meetings in, in Georgia are fantastic. What city are we talking about? Macon, <laughs> Atlanta? Atlanta. Atlanta. Now, Atlanta. Yeah, now, how did you react immediately to this? I was very upset, but I continued to actually go to lunch with him, bringing my little oh sister. Oh, my God, you are really and unbelievable. And to her to a lot of dirty laundry. And she was young. What do you mean? You, you, so you had an argument in front of your little sister? Yes. It was very bad. Now, when did she start uh, smoking weed immediately <laughs> after that? No, she told me I was an idiot. Is she still troubled from this? No, she's Is over she it. Is she in therapy? No. Taking Voloft? No. Kalanapin? Not yet. Value. <laughs> no. Any type of narcotic? Maybe. Does she need therapy because of what you exposed Probably. her to Probably, in Georgia? Probably, yes. Mm. Did she see any odd sexual <laughs> stuff going on between you and him? No. Did you allow her to stay in the same room while you had sex with him? You don't have sex with someone after they do that to you. What kind of sex were you having with him? Was it rough None. sex? Do you like rough sex with a partner? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Say, let, let, let's just throw out a scenario like uh, Dan Deardorff comes up to you and says, listen, honey, let's get a little tonsil hockey going here. Uh, am I too old for you? I'm, I'm 87. Yes, Deardorff. <laughs> you are. Where's the cutoff for age in dating? Like, I'm 87. Where's the cutoff? 40. So I'm, I'm, I'm 47 years past the, yeah. past the prime. Yeah. Uh, does the fact that I was an all-pro offensive lineman for the St. Louis Cardinal no, in 1960, you don't care about that at all? No, you're fat uh -oh. and old. Oh, oh, Miss High and Mighty over here. Miss Goody Two-Shoes. I'm too old for you, you son of a bee. <laughs> well, listen, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It sounds like you two, uh, you know, they, they found a couple of winners over I there. I know. A lot of issues. Do you think the guy... Uh, had sexual intercourse with the fern? No, he blew it up. Yeah, but I mean, afterward, you think? No, it's in ashes. How would that make even? That doesn't make sense. Do you think? Are you in denial about something, Marie? Was he having sex with something other than a person? No, I don't think so. Did you catch him having sex with a poodle? No. If you caught a boy having sex with an animal, what would you do? Oh I would God, probably call the, the cops. Well, did you two ever uh, not talk when the other one's talking? No. No. <laughs> When's no. the last time the two of you were not collectively annoying? You're annoying. All you talk about is bestiality. It's off topic, Jordan. I just baby. brought up bestiality, okay? It's off topic. Listen, you make one bad uh, one bad decision at a frat party in 69 and you're labeled a bestiality guy. That cat wasn't even alive. Oh. Well, back in those days, men were men. We swept that under the rug. You know why? Because I was a good football player. I was a pulling guard. So no one cared if I liked to occasionally make out with a kid. Don't try to bring up my dirty laundry. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.